Hi, good morning. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Let's see here. Mash, congratulations on getting first. Good morning. Hello. Thank you for the check in. Uh, Lost Girl, hello. Thank you for the check in. Missy, hello. Thank you for the check in. Flea, hello. Thank you for the check in. Popstar Candy, hello. And thank you for the check in. Nikki Gaming, hello. And thank you for the check in. Lee, hello. And thank you for the check in. Look at all these check ins. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello, everybody. Hi. How's it going? Hope y'all's day is going well so far. Already a posture check. Let's go. Great way to start your day. Check your posture. No krill posture. No, no, you. No, you, Lee. You check your posture. And before I forget, let me scroll down here. Um, Lolly, Charloe, Mooncraft, Okami Chronicle, Thy Love Alaska, Floppy Master, and Chia Seeds. Thank you for the follows while we were off stream. Thank y'all so much. In case y'all happen to be here, if y'all check the bod. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Isabel. It's been 84 years. I know. Don't need you to tell me that. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't even remember what we were working on last time we were on this island. Is that an ash emote? It is an ash emote. <laughs> it's me. Alright. Now I know that this part is... I remember that our forest section is done. So we're working on the city core part. I don't remember the last thing that we built. I think the last thing that we worked on on this island might have been the entrance. I have a very vague memory of us working on that. Oh, I know we worked on this section too. Ash has frogs. <gasps> oh, I haven't caught an ash stream in five of a... I love their streams. Let's see. Oh, I remember us doing this. Okay, I remember this. Oh, look, and the bushes are bloomed. Okay, that's nice. Awesome. Uh, I know we worked on this, which this spot shouldn't be spawning anything, so I need to put an invisible path right here. Oh, look, a fossil. On this island, those mean nothing. Alright, invisible path. There we go. Nice. There we go. Yeah, this is the last thing I remember us working on. We were trying to make a um a good entrance for our resort area. But I still need to decorate this. Still need to put stuff down here and here. Put some stuff up here. I might get rid of this tiki torch that's right there. 
different. Let's see what else we did. I have no memories of this island. Okay. I haven't touched this part yet. I need to get more decorations outside of all these houses. Oh, our power plant. I forgot we built this power plant last time we were on Strum for uh, this island. Which, was that during the subathon? Last time we played Animal Crossing? I have no memory of last time we played on this island. But ye power plant. Cool. Okay. No memory, no memory. Yeah, me either. It's okay. It's fine. It is all good. We can work on this, I think. Let's see what we have. I surely have, like, some tables and stuff that I can put down. Yeah, I am going to get rid of this, though, I think. Put something else there. Um, let me put my... I'm trying to think of where I could... Okay, I'm going to put the... Look at all these bells I have. Why do I have so many bells in my pockets? What was I doing that I needed so many bells in my pockets? What's going on? Whoa. <laughs> I, I don't... I have no recollection of this. <laughs> okay. Definitely think these would be nice. Hopefully I have some tables that I can put to. Let's see, where are you? Here we go. Whose island is this? I know. Uh, I need food that looks like to be shared. Um, these could work. Those. I really want something a little more beachy looking. I could probably do this juice. Hmm. Let me see how that works. Okay. That up and get it out of my way. Okay. So if I did... How would this look? If I did... Do... Armchair... Ah. I just need to sit for a second. It's all good. Okay. And then, where is the table? Okay. Ooh, nice. Fits perfectly. Okay. Yeah. And then... Ah, uh, no. Okay, I'll, I kind of might swap this out for that table lamp I saw in my inventory. I could also probably like drag it down a little, like right here. I wonder if I have any of those fake bush uh, thingies. I don't remember what they're called. The standees. I don't think I do, because I don't really use them, but I wonder how those would look behind those, because I think they take up a half square. Uh, let me check, let me check. 
standees, where are you? Let's see. There they are. Okay. Yeah, they take up a little half space. A space by a half space. So that could work. I could do two or three of those. I want to say three. So, so let's get to a stack of softwood, wood, and a customization kit. Get something out. Where? Is it any wonder my inventory is so full with all these things that I have in here? Well, I might try putting this somewhere in here, too. It might look nice. Um, okay. Customization kits. I don't remember how many they take, so I'm just going to grab a full stack. And wood. That's not wood. That's wood. And softwood. Where are you? There you are. Okay. We used to have to run all the way home to craft, like to get stuff to craft. We had to go home and get it out of our inventory. Cause I do. It was the worst of times. brain froze. Customize. I was going to see what customizations they have. I was like, what was I going to do? Alright, let's see. Spring, Salia, Summer, Dreamia. I think I might go with the hibiscus. I feel like that fits the vibe. Very beachy. Even though the Hydrania, Hydrania is definitely paying you. They were a little taller than that, but that's okay. 
They still serve the function that I wanted. I just thought they were just a little bit taller. Alright, let me get that fencing. Let me see here. Hmm. I hate that I can't do fence like in a half space because then I could do two right here. Ah, Nintendo. When will they learn? Let's see, I want to be able to put it right here. Eh. So many wasted possibilities. I know! The design limitations really get to me. Put that away. See what else I have going on here. Oh, one of these could work. All right, let me see what ta what chairs I have. Okay, I have one of these. So I could have a single table with the chair. Uh, will it fit right here? Where will you fit? Why? Why not? Why? <laughs> uh, I'm in a fist fight. chair. Let's do it. I'm ready. And then Nintendo wonders why people mod their games. This is why. This is why we mod. So we can have cute stuff and so we can put things exactly where... Like, there's no reason why... There's absolutely no reason for why I shouldn't be able to put this chair a half square closer to the table. There's absolutely no reason for it. something right here. Do I have any more plants? I can never have too many plants. Let's see. Hmm. 
Oh, Nova, hello. I look so nice and cozy. Also, hi, hi. Thank you. Welcome in. How you doing? We're doing our best here. Nintendo keeps limiting my design, but <laughs> I'm trying. Okay, good. I do. I do have some more plants. Uh, let's go with this one. And thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Welcome in. I'm gonna grab a Shaflera and see how that works. And I'm also gonna grab this fan palm. And a coffee plant. Don't judge me. You can never have too many plants, like I said. You can never have too many. Never enough. Okay, I'm thinking... The yucca right there. Turn this way. And will it go one closer to the... I don't think that it will. Nope. Here we go again with Nintendo. Sheflera. I hate it here. <laughs> I want it. I want it just a half square further down. And then I have that fan palm. Here we go. That's nice. Okay. that balloon. Let me see. Can I nudge the... Nope. I go to... Maybe I should put the Shaflera first and then the Yucca. Need Sims level decoration tools, but no, I know. And again, they wonder why people mod their games. This is why. <laughs> this is exactly why. Okay, I think that fills that space in a little bit better. Yeah, that looks better. Okay. Just rolled out of bed. Love your little patio. Oh, thanks. This is our little um, resort area right here. And then it carries on to the beach. I'm supposed to read in the same room. That's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Beach. Let's get away. Our little entrance here. It's not my most grand entrance, but you know, it is what it is. And then we get into the city. To be fair, that's the only good thing in Sims. It really is. Like, I try to love Sims so hard. Like, I want to love it, but it's so difficult to struggle with it. Still cute, Fist the City vibe. Thanks. Our power plant that we built last time. It's been a minute since I've touched this island, so my memory of, of it is a little foggy. Gameplay's not the best, at least in Sims 4. Yeah, I have Sims 4 on PlayStation, on my PS5, and, you know, I love, I love seeing people's builds, and I love all the designing that they do, and I'm like, okay, just copy-paste, because I can't do it. Oh, yeah. 
I forgot I kept that little spa in this little space right here from the last island. Also, if you do exclamation DA, it should pull up the dream addresses. There we go. The first one is for this island, the second one is for my second island. Before I redid this island, it was a uh, magic kingdom city or well magic castle vibe lots of uh mystery it's definitely my favorite build i had that island for like over a year it's the longest i'd ever had one it was where we lived mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we were there for a long time I don't think I'll ever update the, uh, I don't think I'll ever update the, um, the dream address. Unless if I do, like, another, like, Magic Kingdom and, like, make it better. I already have plans for the next island. But I know a lot of people are getting burned out on Animal Crossing. Because there's no, like, there's nothing new, there's no updates. And I can kind of feel it, because it's hard to, like, keep pouring in when there's nothing new being added. Our little library! I forgot we have our little library tucked in here. Don't run on the streets. Don't be like me. We have the school right here to my right. Which, all of the houses still need to be fully decorated inside. But that'll involve me getting on those accounts and going and doing the happy home stuff. This is um, Coco's house. It's the post office. That's why there's all this stuff here. Coco runs the post office. If I burn out for a while, I have so much to do and so many resources. I should pick it back up. Yeah. I mean, if you want to, it'll always be there. Oh, oh, for anybody that's here from Sky, if you know about the office in Sky, I have a build of the office right here. This is my version of um, the office in Sky. Are there any- there should be cockroaches, because it's been a while since I've logged on. There it is. Ignore the cockroaches, they're not supposed to be here. Let's see, you know, you come into the office, you have the candles, you have the couch, you have this thing to where you can get ready to purchase some IAPs. And then over here we have where the devs work. I think I gave them a cute little space, you know. I would work in here, you know. Love the mantas, yes. And then back in here, we have a, a little break room. Again, ignore the cockroaches, they're not supposed to be here. <laughs> so we have the break room. Essie! Essie, I tried to send you the heart, but I think our friendship is not high enough for me to send you the heart. You're the only one I still need to send a heart to. No crabs? No, I didn't add any crabs in here. But if you sneak back this way, there is a toilet back here, which I'm gonna have to log on with my other account. Um, that has this house. So they can change this soon to be all swirly and nasty for, you know, days of mischief whenever it shows up in October. Oh no, it's okay. I was just saying, like, I, uh, I haven't been able to send you your heart yet. So I'll have to check in on that. But yeah. We got a little break area, got some snackies. 
Someone needs to do some dishes. And then we have a little meeting room right here. This is where they come, you know, to plan out future updates and whatnot. Someone's playing Sky. And then up here in this corner is all of my money. Because TGC has all of my money. <laughs> with, with the IAPs. <laughs> I have a chokehold on my wallet. And then in here, we have a dressing room. So they have all the like cosmetics on display, they have little closets. They have this kid over here. This is like the kid in the office that you buy the, um, the office cape from. <gasps> we have a pronoun check. Everybody that's comfortable sharing your pronouns, please drop them in the chat. I use any pronouns. And then again, we have, you know, a little register, you know, for the IAPs. Gotta be ready. But, yeah. I know in the actual office, the um, dressing rooms are upstairs, but my design space is limited, and I already... Did something else with the upstairs, so. I made the rooftop. And thank you everybody for sharing your pronouns. Thank you, thank you. Also, hi, Nettie. Hello. Yeah, I made the rooftop. I kind of designed it with Days of Sky in mind. So lots of the blue and the white decorating, you know, tried to match that color scheme. Also, didn't want it just to be empty, so and we have the confetti. Now, the basement is my favorite part of this office build. This is my favorite. <laughs> Because the, uh, the basement is the Cackling Crab. It's the Days of Mischief area. Which is my favorite Days of event. So, of course, we have that green potion. Um, we've got lots of the red and the green. we got this little spot over here. And then all of the little, the little plushies, the, the little black plushies, those are krill. Those are all of the krill that fly around. So of course we have a few krill in here. And don't worry about the bones. Don't, those are definitely not devs. Those are, they're just bones for decoration. Mush, don't perceive them. Don't look at the bones. All looks amazing. Thank you. I was very inspired for this build. Very inspired. Lee, listen. Okay. Wait. 
Yeah, that's my little office build. On my, I built that for the last island, and um, I built it in a space that was like similar to the office. So like, on the Magic Kingdom island, there's like this little section that's like IRL stuff that is like kind of like tucked and hidden away, and you have to like find your way in there, and it has like a picture of Betty White because I love Betty White and Jenna Marbles because I love Jenna Marbles and then it had like a lot of puppy like the dog plushies because I love dogs um so I made like a little dog like a little, little park area in there and it had like the office with like a little car in it in front of it because you know like when you go to the office in Sky, there's the little car so uh it was it it, it um <laughs> it it matched the other island I feel like better because it fit into the um the aesthetic like of the way it was tucked in. Bum, ba, da. There's so much like little empty spots that I need to fill in with stuff, and I'm like, where do I start? It's almost been an hour and we've done nothing. <gasps> Ah. <laughs> I'm just trying to get reacquainted with the island because I really just don't have a memory of what all we were doing. And then I already know up here we have the um the farm. So we come this way. And then over here, then we have the farm. Which, uh, this, the, the farm, my grandmother, my nanny, this is the account that I made for her. So, like, I decorate this with her in mind. So I gave her a really cozy little cute spot. Oh, look, everything's finally grown in. And she's also definitely the richest uh, resident on this island because she has a monopoly on all the food. <laughs> yeah, she should. <laughs> I don't know if I ever... Did I ever change the inside of her house? I'm pretty sure I left it the way that it was. Because on my previous island, she ran a big, like, store. Okay, yeah. So, like, she has, like, a B&B, &B, a garden shop, a sewing shop, a restaurant, all in this house. Like, like she... Very much like my nanny does all the things. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love how this room turned out. I love this room so much. So cute and cozy. here's our garden shop oh so for this one to give it some ventilation for the plants i put a air conditioner in here and it looks like it's just like a built-in vent so i love i love how that turned out be a little garden shop Excuse me. Where? There you are. And then here's the room for the B and B. The butterflies add a nice touch. Yeah, I love the um, like being able to add, like stuff with the the dusting. 
And I always put the butterflies on the plants. Got another little vent right there. I like having the air conditioners placed to where like the plants have motion so that way it looks like there's airflow in the rooms. I hate when the rooms look very stagnant, like there's no air. <laughs> I don't like it. It makes them look small to me. I don't know. <laughs> And then the sewing room. I love the flooring in here, like the patchwork flooring. It's so good. Oh yeah, the little plush. Um, so my nanny had a chihuahua and, um, he did pass away. He was pretty old. Um, so I put the little brown Hi, juice, the guess. uh, <laughs> juice, juice's timing has been very interesting the last couple of times with the, uh, the gas. <laughs> um, but so I put a little brown plush because he's a little brown chihuahua um you know i'll put him in here for her which she has seen this build um apparently <laughs> Lenova, thank you for the bits. Oh my goodness. Thank you, thank you. The biddies. Um, here's our little restaurant. Put the cockroach in there. Come here. Where are you? I didn't see that. So she has the kitchen on that side and the dining area right there. Very cute, very cozy. I love the vibes in here. I did, unfortunately, have to put her bedroom in the basement. I feel really bad. She has no windows. <laughs> but it was the only spot that I could put her room. I thought about moving her room, like, swapping it with the restaurant. <laughs> Sorry, I redeemed the sound and then I hear you talking about something serious and I have to watch it horror as you get interrupted by a bar. It's okay, Juice. It's okay. <laughs> um, and then here is her room. She's got a little sitting area right here. Her bed, of course. Got a little rocking chair to sit by the fire, watch some TV. And then she has her own little bathroom in here, which is super cozy. I just picture Juice, like, listening to, like, what I'm saying and just having already redeemed it and just, like, staring at the screen in horror, like, no! But it's too late to, like, it's already been redeemed, so you can't stop it. <laughs> uh, it's like one of those slow-mo moments. But yeah, that's her little house. There's still so much to do on this island. But I have a really hard time focusing right now on one specific spot. What I end up doing is going back and working more on spots that I've already finished. <laughs> exactly. Let's see, like, I need to fill in this space. I need to, there's, like, just so much, like, little spots to fill in. I'm like, okay, what am I going to fill this in with? Because, like, on my previous island, I filled in a lot of that that empty space with um, the Turkey Day uh, 
planter display thingies and the little plant thingies. Hold on. I think I have some over here. These. I had these everywhere on my previous island to fill in a lot of that empty space. It's like it's cute, but it doesn't really match the city core vibes anymore, so... Now I'm trying to figure out how to put other things. City core is not my decorating style. I'm not a city core designer. Also, I don't know if I'm going to add anything else over here. I don't want it to be too full, so I think I'm going to leave this the way it is. And then up here, this is going to be the... Um, like the laundromat. Um, for anybody that's new here, my favorite item in Animal Crossing is the deluxe washer. So I'm going to fill the, like the main room in here with the deluxe washer items. <laughs> like that's the plan. Hi, Cosmic Traveler. How are you? Going to lurk, gonna make some pasta while having you on the background. Poke me when you're you start sky so I can fix it. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Um, we'll be starting sky in like an hour. I don't want to go too too long with Animal Crossing. But I do want to finish something else before we switch over. This island's getting to that point where it's like, I have lots of little things to do, and then several big things to do. And it's like, the big things are going to take a really long time to do. And little things, it's just finding the stuff to fill it in with, you know? I also need to decorate all of these houses. Which, again... There we go. Like, this side is good. I like how this looks. It's just right here. It's very empty. I just want to fill this in with stuff. More plants. Because you can never have too many, right? <gasps> A coffee plant. What if I put the coffee plant... I could nudge this, actually. What if I move this down here? Let me see. Yeah, and then put the coffee plant right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's something. Place this one item down. There, we did our decorating closes Animal Crossing. <laughs> I just, I want to know why I have all these bells in my pockets. What was I doing that I needed all these bells? I'm no memory. I'm going to put them back in my thing here. Deposit. I wish I had more of these to throw around. Throw like one right there. Do I have another trash can? Uh, where is my storage shed? Alright, let me get this stuff that's in my pockets put away. My island is such a mess. I let the flowers and trees grow because I feel so bad if I kill them. Aww. I, my previous island is full of trees and flowers, like, all over. Um, and I picked them all up and threw them all away. 
It was the hardest thing I've ever done. <laughs> but I just, I didn't have space to carry them over. Get something out. Right, let's see here. I'd always put a deluxe washer down. Never go wrong with deluxe washing. More plants. More plants it is. Maybe a couple of these. Island's name is Moonberry. Aww. That's a cute name. Oh, I do have these trash cans. Okay, cool. Moonberry. I like it. Don't worry about the skeletons in my in my storage. Don't worry about them. Okay? They're they're not there. Just ignore them. Didn't know half this stuff existed. How long has it been since I touched Animal Crossing? Oh, maybe since before the 2.0 update. Because the 2.0 update, they added a lot of things. Mush, don't stop perceiving. Stop, don't look. Okay. If I put plant I think I was gonna put a street light right there. And then Probably not the land where I want it. Nope. I want it like a half square. Let's try this again. Nope. Okay, so I'm about to do this this way. Pick that up, pick that up. There we go. That's where I want it. And then... Monstera... And just heads up, I see ads are going to start here in a few minutes. So, just a little warning before they get started. That'll be a good time to go get a drink and a snack, run to the restroom, get up and stretch, do all the things.
Oh yeah, it's still trash can. Touching cars. Excuse me? Uh, rodeo? I just heard the car honk and I was like, what? Startled me. Forgot the villagers could do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they can. But I forget that they do it, you know? I don't really see them ever do that very often. Alright, let's get some more petal piles. I don't want to put too many, so I'm just going to grab two. Kind of thinking, like, one right in here. There. <gasps> A scorpion. That's right. You better run. You better run. Get out of my town. Get out of here. Eh. Eh. Not gonna terrorize my citizens. Here come those ads I mentioned, by the way. They're gonna start here in just a second. Can you catch them? You can. I don't have a bug net, but I already have um, the museum complete, so I don't really need to catch them. Okay, this looks a lot better. Just a few items, but it makes the space look more full. And it increases the lag on the island, which... If my island's not lagging, then it's not decorated enough. Hi, honey. Thank you for the check-in. Hello, hello. And thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your lurkies. Over here, I have this little hidden bamboo grove. Super cute. I love it. And then it has a secret exit out to this beach. Which, aside from diving, this is the only way to get to this beach is through this bamboo grove. And, yeah. It's got a, um... It's got a, uh, lot going on over here. <laughs> we have a, um, a pirate ship that washed ashore. More lag equals more life. Exactly. Exactly. How to catch jellyfish by swimming? Uh, yes. The jellies are from the diving. Mm hmm mm hmm And then behind the pirate area, I have a little mermaid beach. Which is carried over on a couple of, uh, a couple of my islands. I need to rebuild the water right here, I guess. If I'm going to keep this little mermaid section. I need to redo this path thing at some point. Because I changed the path. But yeah, they have their own little secret beach over here. Definitely didn't cause the pirate ship to crash. Definitely didn't do it. 
<laughs> All right, let me get out of here. Let's go back this way. Oh, they're chatting outside of school. Sus. Mm. Could probably use a couple, like something right here maybe would make the space look more full. I think something right here too. And then that would probably finish off the little shop right here. So just need two things. It was Gulliver that caused the crash. Oh, what if it was Gullivar? Because he's a pirate. Maybe they were enemy pirates. Really didn't play this game long enough. I've never seen like 95% of these things. Oh yeah, a lot of this stuff was added in the 2.0 update. Excuse me. Yesterday, I I had a um I had one Granny Smith apple and I wanted it, so I washed it and went to cut it. And I have one of those things that you can put on the apple and then just it slices it into slices. And I went to clean it, and I cut my pinky finger on it. And it's this tiny little cut, but it hurts so bad. <laughs> it's like Gulliver keeps getting kicked from the ship because he can't drive it well. Maybe. Okay, these are like one and a half spaces, unfortunately. Otherwise, I would use these. I wonder if the thing is hidden on the speed bag. Like, if I put the speed bag... Right... Against this. Yeah! It, like, hides the bag so you can't really tell what it is. So it could be something that the shop ordered. Yeah. Okay, I like that. All right, let me find one more item to put right here, and then we're good. Ooh, Lenova, thank you for the lurk. Enjoy your lurkies. It's like a paper cut, though. Hope it heals quick, though. Yeah. I'll be fine. It's just, uh, you know, every time I touch something with it, it's like, ow, it's that. <laughs> I'm the cut. Because it's like right on my fingertip. didn't even hurt when it when the cut happened it's like now it hurts let's see I just need one thing to put there one thing that'll only take up a single tile Probably gonna be one of these plants. Let me see how the shuffleira looks right there. Oh, I already have a shuffleira right there. But those might kind of balance each other out. Let me see. Oh. Oh no. Stop. <laughs> okay. Put this there. And then let me put that piece back on the tile. Yeah, that works. Let me turn it that way. See? 
Yeah, that'll work. Okay, awesome. So this portion is done. Pardon me, Rodeo. Okay, let me put this right here. He made himself cozy. It's too cute. Okay. Okay, if I have one there, I would really like to have one right here. Let's make it even. See, I'm getting so many hearts today. This is the daily. Oh, is it? I haven't gotten on Sky yet today, so I have no idea what the dailies are. But I guess now I know one of them. <laughs> and then let me get a plant partition. And I think it'll fit behind it, and then that would kind of break up this path a little bit. Rodeo, don't you dare. Don't you. Don't. Don't. Exactly where I need to be is exactly where he's trying to get. Nice. Yeah. Breaks up that path a little bit. So now we've got some narrow spot right here. Cool. Awesome. Love it. Oh, that looks so good, actually. Just like that. See, sometimes you just have to place a few items. And it just, it finishes, it finishes the space. Look at this. Look at the camera. Smooth. Cute. Okay, grab this. And I can't place anything right here except for like maybe cherry blossom petal files. Um, because I have to be able to walk right here, so I can't place any items here. I'm not going to bother with trying to decorate inside of here until I work on getting the houses. <gasps> is this your car? Yone, is this your car? Pardon? Oh, it's not your car? <gasps> She's trying to steal this car. Officer! I didn't put a police station on this island. Never mind. Anyways. Carry on. I... I didn't see anything. Okay, so I think that actually finishes off this entire space right here. Because I could maybe just throw some petal piles down. That's really the only other thing that I think I could do for this space. Let me... Because if I put the yeah, there's that's what I thought. There's no room. Do you need a police station now? Absolutely not. I have negative space on this island at this point. Like I don't have room. I literally, I remember now, the last time that we worked on this island, I said, man, I wish I had room for a dump. But there's no room. There's there's no room for anything else on this island. Like, there's no space left. Okay. 
because like the only space that I had left was where the power plant is at and I was like I could probably put a dump here but that would look so weird that there's a dump in the residential area like just by all the houses there's just a dump in the middle <laughs> everybody just goes and just throws all of their trash there in a pile Oh, I hit the wrong button. I've been doing PlayStation too much because A and B are flipped on the PlayStation. Oh no, here we go. Okay. And somehow I'm back over 4,000 items in my storage, which I don't know how that's happened. So I have all these pedal piles. <laughs> It just kept going. It just kept going. <laughs> I didn't think it was that many. <laughs> I thought that was it. And then I went down and there was more. <laughs> uh, that's because I've already used so many too. My previous island, I had them everywhere. Looks at all the plants in general in the piles. Listen, plants in the petal piles are... is my aesthetic. <laughs> it's how I decorate. Don't perceive them. <laughs> we love the plants. In the same way I can't judge. Good, as you should be. Could maybe put one right here, but I don't know. There. Toss one right Did y'all see that lag? All I did was place down a few pedal piles. Look at all that lag. Mm. <laughs> Love it. My island is a Lavender Town-esque vibe. It's coated in plants. I need to look through the 2.0 items to see what I have to work with. Oh, there's so much new stuff in the 2.0. So many new items. <laughs> it's great. It's a great time. Um, I wonder if I could squeeze one of these trash cans in somewhere. Probably not. And yeah, there's not really any room. Mm -mm. Yeah, this space is done. There's no more room. And I don't remember if I was putting pedal piles on the on the street. I think I did. Let me run back over here. I eh. Eh. don't run on the road. Don't be like me. Yeah, there's one right there, but I don't remember if I actually put them like on the road road. Doesn't look like it. Also, this right here is supposed to be like a giant bridge. So is a bridge. Because you have all this water down here. See? Water. Mm. 
my favorite part of this whole island is the forest or the the back section of the island. Hi, Water Dragon. Thank you for the check-in. Hello. Ione. I feel like she's going to yell at me in a second because I keep running into her. Fantasy forest energy? Oh, yeah. That's basically what the previous island was. Just like with all the castle walls and the um, magic mystery elements. Here's my house. Yeah. <laughs> had to hide over in the forest, you know. City life is not for me. Let me get right here. So yeah, this part they're like trying to expand the city so they're like tearing this section down a bit but all of this in here is all forest look at all those mush lamps um can never have too many mush lamps in fact i believe we have it on bttv right the mush lamp email yeah there you are It's such a great emote. Yeah, you can tell. See, if you look at this and you look at the city part of the island, I feel like you can tell which one. I really enjoy doing and which one I'm just like trying to do. In mush lamps like this IRL, I'm sure they exist. Oh, yes. What is the town name from Scarlet and Violet? The one that's full of like the glowing plants, like the one in the forest. What's the name of it? I want to live there. Oh, and I have a little fairy village um, up here. I forgot we even had that. Are there pink mush lamps? Uh, no, unfortunately not. Is that the little fairy village up there? Witch's hut. I forgot. We have a witch that lives on the island. This is her hut in here. That's where she lives. She's got her little farm right here. She's nice and secluded in this little back portion of the island. She's not home right now, so we can we can take a quick peek in her, in her hut before we run. <laughs> Which this actually is on my previous island as well. I carried it over.
in her bedroom. I would live here, you know. I I would live here if I was, you know, a witch. <laughs> I'd live here even if I wasn't a witch. So cozy, all the books. I mean, but then you have this basement to deal with and it's a whole nother matter. Don't look, don't don't perceive the skeletons, but look at this. Like just look at this. That looks cozy, right? All the plants. There's obviously a nice breeze down here. Got yeah, posture check. <laughs> If you just ignore the skeletons, you know, it's pretty nice down here. Oh, look, listen, don't... Seems like a great place to vibe. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just don't... Don't look at the skeletons. Is many cobwebs, though? That's okay. That means there's just some spiders. Cute little spiders. And then this, I kind of just, uh, I just kind of decorated, but there's no, like, real planning behind this. I just did this to fill in space. So we have this beach here. We have this little rock area, ruin vibe going on over here. And then, you know, some more skellies. Don't worry about them. You know, they're just, they're resting. It's okay. Maybe, maybe, Coda. I think the one I'm talking about is like the, the fairy one. It's like in the forest. Uh, let me see. I'm trying here. I may just have to pull up a map. Playing Animal Crossing, but it gets distracted. I said Scarlet and Violet, but I'm thinking of Sword and Shield. There we go. I found it. Here. I'll show you what I'm talking about. This village. I would love to just exist there. 
And this is what I'm talking about for anybody that plays Sky. This is what I'm talking about for, like, a forest season. Like, the one that I was dreaming about. The underground forest season. With, like, all the glowing mushrooms and stuff. Like, all the glowing plants. This is the vibe that I'm imagining. Stuff like that. It's so pretty. TGC, make it happen, please, and thank you. Okay, back to Animal Crossing now. We've only got 30 minutes before it'll be time to switch to Sky. We didn't get a lot done, but we got a lot done at the same time, if that makes sense. Like we finished several little areas. Like, there was a lot of little spots that need to be filled that we got filled. And that's kind of like the point that I'm at on this island. So I have to fill in these little spots, and then I have big things to do. Let's take a look in my house, shall we? Not the cockroach. My house is probably my least favorite one that I have decorated. I'm not good at designing my own houses. Like, everybody else's houses I can do, but when I try to decorate mine, it never turns out how I wanted. A lot of these I, like, borrow inspiration from. Like, I'll see them, and then I'm like, okay, love it, and now how can I make it my own? So, like, I don't remember exactly where, like, I got this one from. Did you step on that bug? Yeah, he's a cockroach. This is my streaming room. Imagine if I had a streaming room. <gasps> Muffy! Muffy, no, please. Oh no. Please, Muffy. Not my gothic queen, please. <laughs> I love her so much, but I, I don't want to give a tour right now. But chill at home. Okay, bye Muffy. I love her, but not right now. <laughs> back here. Chess, anyone? I missed the giant chessboard that I had on my Magic Kingdom island. Y'all remember that? For anybody that was here for that? Ugh. And then this is my favorite room in my whole house. It is my bathroom. Where are you, cockroach? There should be one in here somewhere. It's probably stuck somewhere then. I don't see it. Yeah, this is my favorite room. Um, mostly because the deluxe washer is in here. So, like, if you get your camera, you put it in handheld mode. Ah. Try this again. Handheld camera mode. And you just kind of step back and get 
it down here. I'm saying, like, just imagine, like, the deluxe washer sound, like, when it gets, like, to full cycle and some lo-fi in the background. I could just sit here all day. It's such a good vibe. I thought about just like recording that and then like putting lo-fi over it and then just looping it. Putting it on YouTube. Which, by the way, I'm proud to say that I did get the VOD uploaded yesterday. I meant to do it right after stream and I forgot. <laughs> but I did, I did go get the VOD uploaded over there. Oh, my bedroom! And then I have a little library, little reading nook back here. And I guess I'll show y'all my basement, but I don't want to hear any judgment, okay? <laughs> don't judge my basement. Everybody has to have an outlet and... <laughs> Love the design, but imagine trying to keep all of that white clean. Oh yeah, no, definitely, for sure. That's what this room is for. Sacrifice souls to keep my house clean. <laughs> Listen. Listen. What I love most about this room, too, is, um, so this wallpaper behind here, you can actually, uh, like, when you turn the lights on and then turn them off, there's a ghost in the wallpaper, and it moves every time that you change the lights. Let me see if I can get the ghost to appear. Oh, I think I saw it. There he is. And sometimes he'll get super close to the door. There he is right there. There he is. He got closer. <laughs> I don't even think I have a wand on me, do I? No. I'm gonna grab a wand really quick. Oh, look, he got closer. Oh. He just wants some friends. He's just a little shy. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Now I'm ready. <laughs> Look, it's our buddy Wisp. We love Wisp. Rony Priestess, hello. Yes, Wisp, my beloved. Ah, oh, we love Wisp here. I love all the ghosties. They're so cute. Boo from Mario is my absolute favorite. I love Boo. Yeah, but look, little ghost guy out there. He's just chilling, just vibing. 
It's not hurting nobody. Got some potions brewing. Got some gold. Made this with alchemy. Very proud of myself. Didn't lose an arm or a leg to do it. <laughs> yeah, that's my basement. That's my house. Oh. This actually looks really cozy with the lights off. I'm gonna leave them off, actually. BRB. Alright, mush. And then I have a nice little hangout spot. Hold on, I gotta lose this. I don't need the villagers seeing me running around in that. Abandoned my island for like a year. Blame endgame Animal Crossing and other stuff. Yeah, the fact that there's been no updates is really makes you struggle to keep decorating, right? Like, it's just hard. Because like, you know, like there's nothing new coming. So it's like, meh. But I try to, in, you know, inspire myself to do more islands. Like this one's definitely a challenge for me. Because City Core is not my decorating style. It's just not. I would like to mod stuff, but eh, I don't know. I would, but I don't know how to mod a Switch. Like, I have one that's, like, able to be modded. But I don't know how to do any of that stuff. And I would probably break it, so... Red Tundra, hello, I see your first time chatting. I always end up leaving for months, then returning the burnout is real. Yeah, I feel that. It's been a while since we touched this island. Uh, we were we have a second island that we reset for the Rags to Riches challenge from Nintendalk. Which, if you guys haven't seen that, um, let me throw... Let's see, R2R. Should be working. Yeah, there we go. Which is lots of fun. Thank you for the follow over at Tundra. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, and I've definitely seen like a lot of Animal Crossing players and streamers, and they've been saying that they're really just not having fun with Animal Crossing anymore. They're not inspired. Like it's just not doing it for them anymore. And I hate that. I hate to see it. But I also understand it because like I definitely struggle with trying to you know stick with it welcome back I see like I did like when I first made my channel I thought I was gonna mostly stream Animal Crossing and we ended up mostly doing Sky but I don't know how I you got the expensive cat I did okay listen 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 I know that some people just don't like Raymond because they're at the beginning, like everyone wanted him and then like everyone had him and but I love Raymond. Like unironically, I love Raymond. His character is so cute. He's such a sweetie. I love him so much. Muffy and Raymond are my favorite villagers. They're never leaving this island. They're here for life. I have my island flat, started over again, but no motivation indeed. I feel that. You also have Shino. Shino is also great. Uh, let me think. I have Shino. What do I have again? I have Coco, Meringue, Muffy, Fang, Raymond, Sherb, Dom, Rodeo, Shino, and Yone. And, like, their vibes definitely matched my previous island better. So, like, on my... On my previous island, like, on the Dream Address, Coco is a gyroid witch. Meringue runs, like, a little um, sweet shop. Muffy is a soothsayer. Like, a fortune teller. Fang is the head of security, like the, like the sheriff. Raymond runs the library on the island. Sherb has a toy shop. Dom is a blacksmith. Rodeo is an apothecary. So he's got lots of potions and poisons. Shino runs the bathhouse. 
And then Ione is a super special character on my previous island. So Ione crash landed from space on the island and is like way up in like the mountains. And they're trying to rebuild their ship to get back into space to go home. And so, like, they're completely separated from, like, the the rest of, like, the island, like, the castle theme. They have, like, a little space vibe going on. One Ionic has glow in the dark. Yes. Shino Fang, Raymond, and Muffy are all my favorites. Also, Eric. Eric is also great. We love Eric. Love Muffy. Muffy is my favorite. She's my gothic queen and I love her. I love her so much. So this space still needs to be filled in. It's hard because I also need to decorate. Have I done this one yet? Has this one? Did I actually do this one? I did! We made this into the shop on the last stream. I forgot. So this is like a little um, convenience store. Is a uh, convenience store. It's so cute. I love it so much. And I feel like Dom fits it very well. Like I could definitely see him behind the counter just snacking, vibing, having a great time while people come into shop. And you can't actually get back there, but um, there's a little, you know, where he stands and stuff. But yeah, super cute. I love this build. I don't even remember doing it. Josh! Josh! Hi, Josh! Hi, Raiders! I'm coming in on that raid as well. <laughs> Hi, Josh! How was the rest of stream? I was lurking. Hope stream is going well. Or it went well, I guess. <laughs> we did some island decorating. Um, six months, Nate! Oh my goodness, time goes by so fast. It really does. Hi, pens! Thank you so much, Nate, for the resub. Thank you, thank you. For anybody that might be new coming in on the stream, from or on the raid. Gosh, I can't talk today. Um, hi, I'm Maverick Crossing. Call me Maverick Ray. I use any pronouns, and I'm a variety streamer here on Twitch, mostly doing cozy games like Sky, Animal Crossing, Stardew Valley, um, Palea, and then we also do Fall Guys, Pokemon, Fire Emblem, and Zelda. Um, we have done a little bit of decorating. Mostly it's been an island tour. Um, we've done some decorating. We're going to switch over to Sky here in about 15 minutes, but we've been kind of just chilling, you know? We did a little decorating in the entrance area. Just kind of uh, filling in this space over here. Just a little bit, just threw a few items. And then, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Guess I have, I have some coconuts now. Um, <laughs> and then, over here, let me get over there, we threw down some more stuff. Really, I'm at the point on the decorating that it's just filling in little spaces. So here's the post office, which we finished a while back. Um, this area we just finished, we just filled this space in. So this part is done. And then up here, the space is done. We've got our mall. We've got a little library tucked in right here. For everybody coming in on the raid, if you're watching Josh, I'm sure a lot of you are some Sky players or Sky fans. I was showing earlier, we have a office build here in Animal Crossing based on the office from Sky. Since we have like, yeah, we have like 11 minutes and then we're going to switch over to Sky. So here, I'll give y'all one last tour of the office.
So as you come inside, of course, we have some candles here to the right. We've got the little blue couch. We've got this spot to, you know, withdraw some funds for all those IAPs that you're going to be buying. You know, very cute, very cozy. Love the vibe. And then a little further back, we've got a spot for the devs, you know, for them to do their work. Love to see it. Got some fan art over on the wall. I did not make the fan art. Um, it's just some custom designs that I found. That's so yeah. And then back here in this back room, we have a little break room. So, a little break room right here. A little spot for them to come sit and eat. Uh, if you rotate the camera, you'll see that there is a bathroom back here. Not the cockroach. It's been a while since I've logged on, so I got cockroaches in all the houses. Um, I need to log on with this account and turn this to a nasty toilet. Because Days of Mischief is coming. And so, you know, there's always a krill in that toilet. Cockroach Sam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> color scheme is color scheme is so nice. Thank you. Cockroach could work with mischief. Hi, Nixie. You're getting ahead of the class here. <laughs> so in here we have a little meeting room. It's where they come, you know, to discuss Sky, some development ideas, you know, all the things. So it's like the office in the office, right? Got someone playing Sky on the little tablet there. And then up here in this top corner, we have um, all of my money. Because THC has all of my money. All of it. <laughs> And then here on the right, we have a dressing room, a little changing area. We've got the kid in the corner that sells the, uh, the beta cape and stuff. I'm really bad about silencing my phone lately. And usually it stays on silent, so... There. <laughs> Oh yeah, a little dressing room, a little changing room. Again, we have a little register for the IAPs. You know, gotta get those uh, beautiful cosmetics. And then upstairs, we have a... Um, like a rooftop it's inspired by days of sky so that's why there's lots of like the blue and the white you know we got all the bubbles and butterflies and got these confetti blasters here Did I leave this wall? I did. Okay, I couldn't remember if I left that as the sky or not. And then we have the basement, which is my favorite room in this build. It's the Days of Mischief area, the Cackling Crab. Nixie was uh, getting ahead of us. <laughs> no, I stepped on the cockroach. Oh, well, I cleared out all the cockroaches in this house. Um, So, of course, we have the green little potion pot here. Got lots of glowing moss. 
It's got the red and green colors. Um, and then the little black plushies are the krill. So we even have krill in here, which is awesome. Krill cats. <gasps> I need. Uh, oh, the black lucky cat would be perfect for the krill cat. I built this before the krill cat was added to uh, to Sky. I built this. Um, this office build is from before, but that would be a good um, thing to add in there. Would be like the the lucky cat in black. Ooh. But yeah, that's my office build for everybody that plays Sky. I hope you enjoyed it. I think the only thing that we haven't really looked at is this beach, which is finished. It's like my port, so we have lots of uh, stuff coming in. We have an ice cream parlor here, a surf shop. A little stand here to eat at. Got the museum. It's getting there. Slowly but surely, this island is getting finished. Like I said, it's just I have little spots to decorate, and then I have big things to do like um decorating inside of the empty houses but i have to get those accounts through um happy home before i can decorate them and then of course we have the for the uh the farm back here by the forest Oh no, Dripple escaped. Nobody caught it. Big Satch. Wait, I really hope we'll get um new Animal Crossing game. I just I can tell like there's just so many people that have stopped playing it. So many people that have said like they just don't have fun playing it anymore. Cause there's nothing new. It's all the same now. And there's no updates that are gonna be coming out adding anything else, so. I don't know. I've been seeing people that like only stream Animal Crossing playing other games and I'm like shocked. <laughs> I'm like variety streamer now. Blew up so much in 2020 though. I think we'll definitely get a new Animal Crossing game. I really hope so. Like I hope we don't have to wait seven years <laughs> this is my library by the way i didn't show it earlier this is the library in the middle of decorating my island but i am just burned out of it for months yeah it's just a lot of people like i'm struggling to decorate this one mostly because it's city core and city core is not my aesthetic of course we have brewster back there Brewster Bros. Before we had the coffee shop added to the museum, I had like a bunch of stalls all over the island with like these Brewster standees everywhere. Um, so that way I could have Brewster on the island and I called it Brewster Bros. You know, like Mario Bros. Um, and it was just a bunch of Brewster standees running them. 
Will there be like a mainline Animal Crossing game for the next console considering how big New Horizons was? Me too. Like I, I want a new one, but I want it on a new console because Switch is really struggling. Like I, I really would hate to invest in more games for Switch right now. Like I feel like Tears of the Kingdom is the last big game investment that I want to make for Switch. Have a little uh, spot up here to come hang out, do some studying, play a little piano. All my builds, I try to make everything as cozy as it can be. And then this is my favorite room in the library, and I don't know why, but I love it so much. <laughs> it's my cluttered basement. It's so cluttered. <laughs> For no reason, but it's... Like... <laughs> it's so cluttered, I love it so much. Don't think Nintendo will release another Animal Crossing game for Switch. It's like normal for new Animal Crossing games to come with new consoles, I think. Yeah, that's been the trend. So I hope so. But yeah, good luck finding anything down here. I don't know, I just, I felt like the library had to have a cluttered basement. I don't know. I love it. I see ads are going to start here in about 30 seconds. So just a heads up to anybody that's not a sub. Uh, we're going to switch over to Sky here in just a minute. So for anybody that's just here for Animal Crossing, thank you for hanging out. Sorry we didn't get, like, a lot of deck. We did quite a bit of decorating, but not as much as, you know, most probably would have wanted. <laughs> it's just really hard because I just have these little spaces to fill now. But, uh, yeah, we're going to switch over to Sky here in just a little bit. I am going to run outside. I've got some... Um clothes in the washer that I need to, need to move to the dryer. So I'm going to do that and then whenever I come back we'll switch over to uh, some sky. Is good enough? No worries. I try. It's just like trying to figure out how to decorate. Like we did this little space. This turned out super cute. The little shops. Like this turned out really cute. Like the things that we did turned out really nice. It's just we didn't do any like big grand designing because all we have left is just little tiny spots to fill in so it's like it's really hard to uh just stand there and do that when it takes two seconds you just have to throw a few items down <laughs> and then i already struggle with focus so that doesn't make it any easier but all right i'm gonna go run and get those clothes moved over and i'm gonna get everything ready for sky so give me just a minute
Okay, I'm back. Hi. Hi, Celestial Storm. Thank you for the follow. Channel points. Oh, it's the channel points. I just changed them to candles. Yeah, you can customize them. that's just here for Animal Crossing. Thank you again so much for hanging out. We are going to switch over to Sky now. Let me get that pulled up. I've been on Twitch since, Twitch since like 2021. Oh my goodness. Staring contest with a PNG. <gasps> I was staring and y'all were staring. Oh my goodness. Sus Susie Woodstock. I hope I said that right. Hi, welcome in. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Alright, let me close that. I just gotta shut my turn my switch off. Okay. Cause I don't play Sky on Switch anymore because it's super laggy for me. And PlayStation is just better in my opinion. <laughs> PC is the best. Um I think Josh was doing Sky PC today, and I was tempted to, but meh. Came back because the concert introduced me to a lot of cool creators. <gasps> Aw, that's awesome. Love to see it. Um, I imagine that it's going to be getting shut down here in just a second, like here at some point today. Uh, I haven't looked to see if they've said anything yet. No, I still don't, they haven't said anything, but the sky codes are still working at this moment. Ah. So, like, you can still do Mav Crossing, um, and I think they work even if I'm not at the concert area, so, like, if you don't have the, uh, if you don't have, um... Oh, Mush, I already disabled it. <laughs> I disabled it because I didn't think it was going to be working. So I just went ahead and disabled it. I can turn it right back on. I think I have it pulled up right here. Yeah, I have it right there. Okay, it should work now. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, it should be working. Let me see. Oh, make a new acquaintance somehow worked. <laughs> Did someone light me? I didn't even have a candle out, though, I didn't think. <gasps> nice. Yep, I still have my global chat, still have my flair, still have a little hearts. The concert does that? It does? I didn't know that. I learned something new. Compassion. Let's go. Does it sit with a stranger too? Oh, that's nice. Love to see that. But yeah, I think you can still use the um, the code and get in if you don't have the wings. Did you go back to fire trial? You know what I didn't do much? You know what I did not do? That. <laughs> but it's okay. It's fine. I have plenty of candles, so it's not like I'm like in a major... Like, like I have to get all the candles. It feels so weird seeing this area with uh, almost nobody here. Yesterday, last night, I did the concert, 
and there was only 200 of us which is still more than it was before the encore concerts but it was so weird to see it so empty But on the flip side of that, it was nice to have fewer people here. Um, just being able to hang out with, like, a group, you know, and, like, chat and stuff. That was nice. Man, this tower is taking forever. Hi, Quinworm God. Hello. How are you doing? It's been a while. Hope you've been doing well. All right, let me warp home. <laughs> I just wanted to see if it was still working. I vanish. No, no. Oh, because it escaped. Oh, it escaped. Oh, you know what? Before I warp home, actually. The flabay bay. Not the flabay bay. I love the tower music, too. It's so good. I'm gonna run in here and grab the wax from in here. Goodbye! <laughs> love the way you said flabebe. Isn't that how it's said? Isn't that how you pronounce it? Flabebe? Flabebe. Good and you, I'm doing good. Getting this wax really quick. And then we're going to head home. And then we can actually start doing the things. While I'm thinking about it, I'm going to switch over to my sky outfit here. I was hoping to catch you at the concert. Oh, I'll still be there, Celestial Storm. I'll still be there. But, uh, it doesn't start for an hour. We have candle running and dailies to do. Home, home, home. We're also 11 follows from, uh, 17 Hundy. Thank y'all so much. What the heck? Ah! Water Dragon, why are you sending me hearts? Don't waste y'all's candles on sending me hearts. Oh, wait, the daily, I forgot. That's why. Still, send them to somebody else. Send them to Mush. Send all of the hearts to Mush. The hearts that you want to send to me, send them to Mush. Because I literally, I don't need hearts. I was the one with the Abyss Cape and the Forest Elder hair last night. Oh! <gasps> With the camera? Yeah, that was you? Oh my goodness. It was you. You found me. Someone played the Yahaha sound. <laughs> played Interstellar theme. Oh, that was so good. I loved that. I'm in the middle of class right now. Kaizen, focus on class. What are you doing? You get yourself in trouble. Thank you, Mush. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> also, uh, Essie, if you're still here, if you are able to hop on the sky, let me know so we can... I think we just have to hang out for a little bit. I don't know if we still need to unlock the thing or not. So I can send you your heart for the heart giveaway. For anybody that's new here, I am starting heart giveaways every week. Weekly heart giveaways. Um, it'll be five winners every week. Uh, that'll be picked over on the Discord. You just have to be a follower and friends with me in Sky. Multitasking, Kaizen. Is 
don't mind me. I am just getting my constellations. <laughs> Everybody lit here. Twitch crash. No. Twitch crash. Twitch was messing up for me earlier today. I was trying to watch Josh and it kept just randomly closing. Like on my phone. Had a clean litter box for the kitties. Aww. The kitties are like, thanks. Peasant. <laughs> no. <laughs> now we mess it up again. You know what I forgot to do yesterday? I forgot to get on beta and do my dailies in beta. Ugh. I also need to get on Palea too. There's so much to do. And then I was looking at Fae Farm on Steam. But I don't know. There's already so many. Fellow beta player? Yes, I'm on beta. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And before everybody gets excited, no spoilers in the chat. No beta spoilers in chat. Um whenever i'm playing beta on stream we can talk about spoilers but whenever we're not we don't put spoils in chat just before you know we've been having quite a few spoils and a lot of people are excited about the stuff going on in beta right now but some people don't want to know they don't want to be spoiled and i want to respect that get my tiki torch okay let's see Find the candles at the end of the rainbow in Vault. Okay, so we're doing Vault dailies today. I'm excited for Redacted. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. That's fine. Me too, Water Dragon. Me too. It's been so hard to avoid spoilers. Yeah, that's that's the like the thing. It's all over TikTok. When I get on TikTok, it's all over my For You page. And I'm like, no. <laughs> like, at least with YouTube, you can like not watch it. But with um, TikTok, like, once you scroll, like, there it is. And it's just... <laughs> I wish there was a way you could, like... I guess this would be... Like, it would hurt your TikToks. But if there was a way that you could put, like, spoiler on your TikToks, so that way it would, it would pop up and say, hey, this might be spoiler for... And then you could put in the tag, like, Sky Beta Content. You'll be safe here until map streams beta. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, we don't... No spoils in the chat, please. <laughs> oh, hi, V. <laughs> I'm in such a mood to watch Twilight because of tiktok right now because i keep seeing twilight tiktoks again and it's like i haven't watched it i haven't watched it in a little while because hulu took it off again and i don't want to have to swap out my um my blu-ray disc in fact i can't because my blu-ray player has stopped working so i can't even watch them offer hand to mel oh okay wait who are you gonna latch to mush We're going to go to Vault, so I'm going to Chibi Fall. I can latch to everyone. Oh, okay. Mush can latch to everyone. Okay. Damn. <laughs> I see you, Mush. Surprised all of us made it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Chain of chaos. No, no chaos here. Shh. We're forever cozy. Okay, easy dailies. We just have to find the candles and relive a spirit. We'll relive the spirit on the second floor. This is fine. Kaizen, aren't you in class? Excuse me? I just want to know, like, how you can be in class and, like, be playing... Like, I could never. The anxiety that I would have? Absolutely not.
Yes, please. Don't have a candle out. We don't want to light this spirit. We do not want to light this spirit. Look at that adorable group of Sky Kids. No you, V. No you. Don't take out your candle. Nobody take out a candle. Don't do it. I will light this. I've got it. There we go. Okay. We don't, we don't light that spirit. That spirit is pain. My Zoom meeting volume is higher than stream, so it's fine. Oh, you're in class, but on Zoom. I thought you were, like, physically in class. And I was like, how? We don't like you, that one. That one takes five million years to complete. Are we a full server? Wow. I didn't even notice. Okay. Class on campus is at six. Oh, okay. Hmm. When I was still in uh, college, which I mean, technically I still am, but, um, when I was still doing classes, uh, most of them, they only offered the, like, in school. Like, you had to go to the college because they didn't have, like, the the online classing. And I was like, no. So, like, for my first couple, like, for my first year, I had to go all, like, it was all at the college, all on campus. But my second year, <laughs> that's when they started really rolling out, like, um, online courses. And I was doing those, but, like, the fast-tracked versions. So, like, instead of them taking a full semester to do, it was, like, self-guided fast-tracking. So, like, you could, like, everything was available and you could do everything, like, as soon as you wanted to. I finished classes in, like, just a couple of weeks because I was like, let me get this stuff done. <laughs> Sounds like a nightmare to me. See, I do really well when everything is on my time. You know, like, when I can pick when to do stuff, then I'm good. But when someone else picks the time and stuff, then I struggle. Like, if they tell me, like, this is due on this day, I already want to do it now. Like, I want it done now, so I don't have to worry about it. It stresses me out when stuff's due and, like, I don't have it done. Could be due a whole month away and I'm still like, ah. <laughs> that was, like, my biggest struggle with, um, with taking classes on campus is because like they're to the curriculum of the professor and so like the professor like gives you the assignments and you have to do them as the professor gives them to you but they give you a syllabus at the beginning of the year and it shows you everything you're gonna do and I'm like I want to do all these things now <laughs> When someone picks the time, I get stressed, but when it's on my time, I procrastinate, so, ooh. It's like a pick your poison. Do you want to be stressed, or do you want to just procrastinate and then rush and do it all at the last second? I feel like I do better procrastinating and doing it all at the last second than I do, like, being stressed that it's going to be due. It's a tired rabbit. Hi, tired rabbit. Is that a wild tired rabbit? <gasps> Throw a Pokeball. Ooh, Celestial Storm. Do exclamation Poke Start to begin your Pokemon journey. You'll get um, a starter Pokemon, and I think you get some Pokeballs too. Did Mew get that? Mew? Mew, did you get the spirit? Oshawott! Aw, let's go. 
Isn't that a water type? Is it a water type? Mew, did you get the spirit? I'll show up my baby. Did I'm good? Okay, then we can go on to the next floor. Bulbasaur, beloved. Ugh, Bulbasaur is best starter. I love fire type starters. I love the fire types in general. But my my favorite ones I usually start with are the fire types. But Bulbasaur will always win. Bulbasaur will always... He's just a little cutie and I love him. Hi, Kaizen. Late but still great. That's right. Welcome in. It has been two and a half hours. I was like, we haven't been streaming that long. But it's because we just started Sky. <laughs> now, if everybody wants to get latched up. I'm a fire trainer, except when it's Piplup. Oh, yeah. Piplup is adorable. There. And then take my hand. we should do join cake parties in Palea. See, Mush, I don't have enough friends in Palea to join a cake party. Unlike some people. Got the bug. Okay, so I wonder if I offer to Mel. No. Okay. Yeah, because it looks like you latch, but like it doesn't latch you. If I offer hand. It shows you take it, but it doesn't. Okay, let me try offering to Mel, and then... Or Mel, can you offer to Mew? I need to fix this latch bug, like, ASAP. Okay. And then let me offer to Mel. And let's see if that does anything... There we go. Do you have any friends? They make the parties in Discord. Oh. Oh, but see, Mush, I don't have the... The stuff to make the cakes. Like, I don't have any ingredients. That's my problem. The only thing I have is... Some wheat. That's all that I have that I could possibly contribute. You can go oven... Oh, okay. Did I hear Discord? Oh, we do have a Discord, Celestial Storm. Um, we were talking about the Palea Discord for cake parties. For, um, Palea. I'm in the process of trying to let all of my crops finish growing so I can replant everything. Uh, I don't know why I was looking for the candle cakes, like, whenever the candle cakes are here. I don't know why I was looking for it. Up, up, and away. Old habits, maybe. I see the chevrons, but I guess my brain is in Kendall run mode. Usually when I get to this floor vault, I forget that we have dailies. But it's fine. We just gotta get that candle cake. I love when we have the candle cake rainbow daily. It's a whole extra candle cake. <laughs> what? Are you serious? <laughs> Mush just sent me a DM. Not Nintendo announcing that there's two new 
Nintendo Switch Lights coming out in Animal Crossing themed. Look at this. Nintendo Talk just uh, shared it and Mush sent it to me. Look. <laughs> They're so cute, but for what? The switch is like catching fire and it's <laughs> they're so cute but why October 6th Isabel edition is a Target exclusive to me and Tommy edition is a Walmart exclusive wow I wonder how the sales on that are going to be I mean I guess for collectors I guess for collectors um that's great. You know, it's something else to collect. For me, I don't really make a habit of collecting consoles because that's an expensive uh, hobby to have. Thanks, Nintendo, I guess. Oh, Nixie, no. <laughs> Can you not even, like, order, um, like, online from Target and have it shipped to you if it's not in your country? <laughs> it's okay, Nixie. It's okay. Uh. <laughs> uh, too funny. Oh, that's so sad, though. Just green and pink switch lights. We have those. Green? Mush? Green? Cyan. I would have been fine if you said blue. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> green? I guess you could say green. I don't know. I don't see it. <laughs> I was like, where? Where's the green? Don't fight me, Mush. Mush, look. Listen. Look. 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 That's green. That's even like a yellow green. That's cyan. That's blue. That's green. <laughs> I was like, is there a third one that Mush didn't show me? <laughs> uh, poor Mush. I was like, you know what? Whatever. <laughs> My brain was just confused because like when i hear or see green i think of like dark like green like very green like forest green imagine a dark green switch with leaves i would love me to I'm sure they sell, like, the cases that you can put on them. Like, the skins. I don't buy skins for... I switch. That Zelda switch. Is it green? Wasn't it like a white and gold? Uppies for the mush. A fall edition switch when... Oh. It... <laughs> 
Not another Dreamlight Valley update. I haven't touched Dreamlight Valley in five million years. It's been so long. Kaizen? Alright, well, we have to... Wait, goodbye. It, it, Mel and me were like, wait. <laughs> we have to beat the Mantas. I'm sorry. There we go. And home. Nice. We'll collect these dailies and then let's see what time is it. Oh, why did it stand me up? Um, we've got an hour until granny. So we can go just do some candle running. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Don't we have red shards today too? What time are those? Uh, dailies, red shards, oh, red shards are going to start here in just a little bit. Okay. We'll give those enough time to, uh, spawn. I think what we'll do, let's run to Village of Dreams and grab the two candle cakes there. Just opened Dreamlight Valley yesterday and immediately gave up. Yeah, see, my problem, too, is that I have Dreamlight Valley on Switch, and it crashes so much, and the autosave on Dreamlight Valley is so unreliable. That's really why I stopped playing, is I got tired of it crashing and of it not saving what I was working on. Wasn't it going to go free this year? I thought so. I thought it was supposed to go free in spring. We're about to be hitting fall. And it's really just gotten more and more expensive. Okay, and I don't know if Mew is still here. Oh no, like in Sky. Microtransactions, yeah. There you are. There we go. All right, we'll just run to Village of Dreams, get those candle cakes. I'm just with her. I saw you last night. I was with a group that was spamming hearts all around you in the concert. <gasps> Hi! Hello. That was so much fun. I had a great time. Thank you for hanging out with me for the concert. Hope you had a good time. And I'm so glad you found me. Hello. Maybe Aussie Spring? Maybe, but I feel like they would specify because it's a US um, based company. Yeah, what well, Mush said. Since they're based in the US, I would assume. Didn't know who you were, so we searched you up and wanted to show you some love. Heard you were amazing. Thank you. And now I cry. That's so sweet. Thank you for uh, coming in. I appreciate it. We've made so many friends uh, with the Aurora concerts. And we've met so many amazing Sky Kids that a lot of them didn't know that there's sky content creators like on twitch and youtube besides like nasty mold and new mode um but yeah there's a lot of us out here and a lot of us are you know super sweet Ooh -woo. <laughs> i can't see <laughs> there we go Also, for anybody that's new here, if you would like to play Sky with us sometime, uh, I do play Sky with Twitch followers. 
So if you'd like to play with us, just drop a follow and you can whisper me uh, sky code and I'll be happy to get you added. And if you aren't sure about whispering or if you just want to, there is a link for the Discord. Thank you much. And you can DM me a sky code over there as well. I would encourage everybody that's a follower um, here on Twitch that's in Sky to join the Discord. We do weekly heart giveaways over there. Five winners picked every week. We just did our first one. Um, had our first five winners yesterday. I'm just... Okay, is it withered or withheard? Let me know. Because I don't want to keep saying it wrong if I am. But thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. We're 10 away from our follow goal now. Let's go. Thank you so much. What's really awesome, too, is there's a lot of people that either aren't on Twitch. Vass? Did I say that right? Vass? Let me know. Um, That either weren't on Twitch or haven't been on Twitch in a long time. That are hopping on from the concert to meet content creators which is awesome love to see it uppies for the mush let's see how much time do we have still okay so they're just gonna start spawning so let's go see we can go to starlight desert get the candle cake there go to the shards they should be there and then we'll do that and then we can go continue candle running I think after shards we'll run um to prairie get the candle cakes and sanctuary and then we'll head to hidden forest and candle run there and then we'll be there in time for granny we have a game plan what type of shards is it today it's red shards at the jellyfish cove in starlight desert Celestial Storm is gassy. Oh my goodness. Let me log back in. Yeah, go get those shards. Gotta get them. I'm not sure. I think it's Mel that's leading. The fart always cracks me up. Well, I'm glad. That's what it's there for. What I love is when it's, like, a really tense, like, gaming moment. Like, when something really major is going on. Like, when I'm playing Zelda and, like, we're in a boss fight or something. And then someone does the gas. It just immediately releases the tension. I adore fart with reverb too dang much. It lives in my head rent free. <laughs> what? Imagine someone can read minds and they just try to read your mind and all they hear is the gas with like the the fart with reverb sound. That's all they hear. I'm like, what? <laughs> I have to go, but it was nice finally meeting you. Have a terrific Tuesday. Oh, thank you for coming in and saying hi in the follow and joining us here on Twitch. Hope your meeting goes well and I hope we see you again soon. We'll be back with more Sky tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. There we go. Welcome back, Mush. I was watching V, Violate. Mush, when you have a second, can you give V a shout out? Um, they were streaming sky and they had there were they're doing a subathon and um they're playing on their moth account and they were doing the little prince quest and i was sobbing because little prince is my moth season That was so close. I literally 
<laughs> if I hadn't have jumped to the side, we would have gotten hit. What is with these shards lately? They've been almost hitting us lately, like, so many times. Kaizen? Almost got got. For real. Water Dragon just ran you into that shard, Kaizen. Uh, what is going on? Gasp with the shard sound gave me a heart attack. The shards terrified me. Little Prince was my first sky friend. Oh. King of Eden is targeting you. He knows that I'm getting too powerful. So I gotta take them down. <laughs> and I'm guessing Switch player shards are over there. King Rush is armed, honestly. Ow! I don't know if that clip got the right moment, but anyways, it's okay, Mush. It's okay. I'll have to double check it at some point. I need to go through all the clips and delete some of them that, like, make no sense. Art idea unlocked. Ooh, Tired Rabbit, draw it and then show me. Ooh. I have no artistic talent, so I have to live vicariously through all of you artists. So you have to make the drawings and the art and stuff and then share it with me. Oh, did I scare you guys and I'm sorry. <laughs> Reminds me of the farm fresh sign that the FS blocked. So it said arm rush. Oh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I heard artist. Yeah, imagine having artistic talent. Can't, could not be me. I wish, but I have no skill. We have lots of them. We do. We have a lot of artists. There's so many talented people. I was last night. I was going back through the um, art gallery over on the Discord, and I'm like, oh my goodness, like the talent. Everybody has so much talent. Jellies. I'm an artist. Oh, you an artist? Would love to see your art sometime over on the Discord. I love checking out everybody's art. And then sometimes people do art of me, of my Sky Kid, and I go feral. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's me. Primarily digital art, but I'm dabbling in video editing. Nice. Sky art someday. Let's go, Sylvia. I would love to see it. Even if it's not sky art, I'd still love to see it. I just love art in general. Shards are in the same place as yours, and I'm on Switch. So, it's weird, Cosmic Traveler. It's not every Switch. It's just some that they're in the wrong spot. Oh, 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 oh. Are y'all ready? I think I'm finally going to hit a thousand Ascended Candles. Ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? I thought it was only going to give me one. Yes, let's go. I am finally over a thousand in Ascended Candles. Yes. Now I have a thousand in all the things. Let's go. <laughs> finally, if I hadn't have stopped doing Eden for several months before I started streaming, I would have been in a thousand a long time ago. Yes. As soon as those elder cosmetics that I know we're gonna get, I feel it in my Sky Kid bones that we're gonna get more elder cosmetics. They're mine! They're mine! <laughs> Watch them cost a thousand ascended candles each. I will sob. Don't do that to me, TGC, please. Do we have bones? We've talked about this before, Mush, and I don't wanna think about it. I'm pretty sure we don't, but. <laughs> 
I used to hit Eden every week before Shattering. Oh, we go every Sunday. Uh, for anybody that's new here, we go to Eden every Sunday. We normally do our wing light runs every Sunday, but because of the Aurora Encore concerts, we've been kind of like postponing the wing light runs. So we finished up that yesterday. Hey, look, this wing light, it's floating. What are you staring at? I always, they're always looking towards the light. There we go. Awesome. Home, everybody. Home, home, home. But yeah, we go to Eden every Sunday. We do a wing light run afterwards. Um, it's lots of fun. I love Eden. I wish it reset like twice a week so I could go twice a week and get more Ascended Candles and have more adventures in Eden. My alt? You mean your <laughs> friend, right? Celestial Storm? Because alt accounts are against TOS. So none of us have alts. We have <laughs> friends. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I mean, friend. Uh... Has 71 remaining Ascended Candles as a remnant. I used it as a battery pack for the last part back when that was a viable strategy. Ah, I see. I love going to Eden. It's the wing light run. I think a lot of people that don't like to go to Eden, it's not Eden that they don't like. It's the wing light run that follows that everybody hates, you know? Because Eden in itself is fun. It's, it's having to go and get all those wing lights back. That's the hard part. All right, let me offer Mush Piggy. I'm going to switch back to being a tall math. Finally, I have a friend. What do you mean, Tired Rabbit? You have so many of the friends. What are you talking about? I'm like seven traveling spirits away from getting 12 wings. Let's go. Uh, I'm part of the 12 Wedge Club. Love it here. It's great. Wing light runs make me burn out. That's why I go with you guys. Yeah. Yeah. I love doing the wing light runs with y'all. I know I'm not the most fun person to do a wing light run with, though, because I get impatient. And if people start unlatching, I start leaving them behind. <laughs> I have very little patience when it's like wing light run time. Nah, you're the best person doing light run because I do the same. You know, cause see like Craze, Craze List. Um, let me see if I can get Craze a shout out. Craze is another great um sky streamer. And I'm always amazed by how patient Craze is. Like, I strive to be as patient as crazes. I just, I can't. Like, all I can think of is, I want my wing light back. <laughs> and it's not really like, I'm not frustrated with the people that are with me that unlatch. It's the latching and unlatching being difficult to do. Like, if we could easily latch on to each other and unlatch, you know, and get latched back up, then I wouldn't mind it so much. But when you're, like, running and people unlatch and it's difficult to get latched back up, then I start to get annoyed. Because, like, we're trying to run. But I also think that it keeps y'all on y'all's toes when y'all wing light run with me. Because we get really fast at the wing light runs. Like, we finish in just a few hours, like, doing dailies. I think the most that we've, like, the fastest we've done was under three hours. And that was with dailies, Eden, and the full wing light run. And we did it, like, right under three hours. It was, like, I would say it was three hours because it was, like, just barely short of it. And that was with, like, a full group. Where are kennel cakes today? Uh, bird's nest and cave. Okay, awesome. 
If I do Eden, I need to do Wing Light Run as fast as possible. Yeah. My thing, too, is that if I don't do the Wing Light Run immediately after Eden, um, then I will forget to do my Wing Light Run, and then I'll get lazy and not want to do it. So, Sky Content Creators dragging me back into my Sky Hyperfixation. Good. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, fair plays. Hello. Thank you for the check in. How you doing? I just noticed the thing in the two embers trailer. I don't know how to explain those, so let me do them. Okay, much sounds good. Also, I really want to do another lore analysis stream with y'all. Like, I want to pull up everything, though. Like, I want. All of the trailers. I want the Aurora concert. I want the cutscenes from the seasons. Like, I want all of it. And then, like, dissect everything. All of it. Let's go. The Elder cutscenes. I want all of it. Notice the hands in the trailer are so detailed. <gasps> really? They don't have nubs like we do? All right, let me see what Mush sent me. Stars on top of the pillar are the same ones as on top of the wasteland. Oh yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm I think that is wasteland mush. Here, I'm gonna pull these up so you guys can see what we're talking about. Mush has been really diving into the lore since the uh trailer. Lurk, lots to do. Alright, fair plays, don't work too hard. Enjoy your lurkies. Two embers trailer. You've got the little stars on top here. And they line up with these. From what I understand, these statues are supposed to represent the King of um, Sky. Hmm. It's interesting too, seeing like the floating castle there is like super intact. It's Wasteland, but I'm wondering where it would be. So I wonder if it's on top of the temple. Oh, like where the Sky Kid is standing? Or... Because this is the entrance to the temple right here. Gonna go now. Bye. Bye, Missy. Take care. We'll catch you later. Because see, there's that one. And there's that one. But where the Sky Kid is in the trailer? Um, I would assume that they're over... You know that one that's broken... You know, like, there's four of these in Wasteland. One, two, and then you probably can't see one, but there's probably one right there. Three, and then four. And then this one's, like, broken and, like, half laying on the ground. They're probably standing near that. In front of the temple? Yeah. In front of the temple. That's what I think. Alright. Have you noticed that Isle and Prairie Temples are the only ones you can leave once you enter? Uh, yes. I My brain couldn't comprehend that sentence at first, and I was like, what are they asking? <laughs> but yes, yes. But, like, everything looks different because it's before the war and then Sky. Uh, we play is obviously after. Yeah, and then, of course, the art style is different, so there's that. So, like, the dimensions are obviously not going to be the same. Hi, Pixel You. How are you doing? Hello, hello.
fighting you. I'm doing good. Just doing some candle running really quick. Is it Betzelbub? Betzelbub? I have definitely seen that name before. I feel like I've seen that name on TikTok. Hi, welcome in. Did I say it right? <laughs> hello, hello. Make Sky TikToks? Okay, okay. See, I'm on all the Sky content, so. <laughs> I always want to say Beezlebub or Beezlebub. I think I wish I could find is an authentic Sky Kid 3D model to play around with in Blender. Love modeling scenes for myself before drawing them since it helps me get proportions. Oh. I always introduce myself with, hi, I'm the Moth King. Yes, I've seen your TikToks. Mm -hmm. We've been getting Wi-Fi here a lot lately, like in this exact spot, like flying right there. We've gotten it several times. And like, it's got to be a coincidence, but it feels like it isn't. <laughs> oh, I see ads are starting. I didn't notice, but yeah, ads are starting. Just a heads up, everybody. I want to know what... This is on my way home to warp. Okay, much sounds good. Is this like where they stored like birds or something? Or maybe like it's like a like a silo? You know, like maybe the birds lived in here and they would close them in. You know, when it was time to sleepies. Assuming that they had a night cycle here. Like a coop, that's what I was thinking. Like a coop. But it also be a, see it being a silo too. Hmm. I would think a bird coop. Thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. We're nine away from our goal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. The month just started. What the heck? <laughs> But yes, uh, Betzelbub, thank you for the follow. And again, if I'm saying your username wrong, let me know. Yesterday on a stream, we were all taking pictures at the concert space, and you happened to be right next to it. So we all started spamming hearts. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Because I was vibing, and then I started seeing a bunch of hearts, and I was like, what's going on? Look at all these cute Sky Kids with all the hearts. There's Kaizen. Big one will be for the burbs, too. The big one? Oh! That's an interesting thought, Mush. Maybe. Love how those large groups of Sky Kids look like children running away from kindergarten. <laughs> was that when we were near the music box? I think so. Because it was, it happened twice. But one time there was like a big group of Sky Kids spamming hearts and it was so cute. I might have pictures because I was taking a lot of pictures. guitar and the string of lights oh yeah we were hanging out there so for anybody that doesn't know this with the global chat like you guys can see my chat but I, I can't see your chats so like I have to sit down at a table or on a chair or something to see your chats I think a lot of people don't know that because 
I'll have people like chat at, like I'll see like the bubbles, but I can't see what you're saying. And then in global, it was like, I have streaming. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Cause, uh, that was, <laughs> it was like nine. And I was like, I need to get off of here and finish the stuff that I was, cause I was working. I was doing that. I was watching a stream. I was playing Palea. I was doing some work for work. And I was also doing some work for a stream all at the same time. <laughs> so I was AFK in everything. <laughs> Ads are still what they should have just ended. No, oh, September. I keep forgetting. Yeah, the ads run longer than. <sighs> Oh, nice. We're down to one chevron now. Let's go. are louder than the stream oh i hate that i hate whenever i'm listening to a stream and they always jump scare me for marketing purposes well it's not working <laughs> yeah nothing makes me want to not buy or do the thing more than when the ads are yelling that at me i'm like no now i'm not gonna do it <laughs> it's really frustrating mm -hmm, mm -hmm. no i'm slippery today the art by the way who made your vtuber uh omega on fiverr which uh if i do thank you mush um yeah they did my png model lost girl did all of my emotes and my og overlays and um emotes and my original png mush i was typing it <laughs> uh <laughs> Which Lost Girl now does stream. They do Sky Streams. They're also a member of the Sky Creator Troop. So y'all might have seen them in the uh, the concerts as well. We love Lost Girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My OG PNG model. Lost Girl made all of those. I think I seen her. She sat at a table with me once. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm so proud of Lost Girl. They started playing Sky like right around the time that I started streaming it. And now look at them. Like they stream it and they're part of the creator troupe and they make TikToks all the time. They're not a moth anymore. Now they're. You know, they're a whole veteran now. Mm 
not a moth anymore. But I'm so proud. We need to do in order to get into the creator troop. It's just an application. Um, I don't really know all the details because all of that is handled by um, TGC. Like, they don't really give us that information. You know, they just kind of... They handle all that on their own. <laughs> I don't want to say anything and be wrong. Also, was this dark plant always that big? I don't remember it being that size. And no, we're not staying for geyser because I don't really do geyser anymore. Get me out of here. Sanctuary is too bright for me to stay for geyser now. Like, I don't know. Like, I just... It doesn't do it for me anymore. <laughs> if it could just be during sunset, then that would be fantastic. Ooh, I'm 10 away from 3200. Let's go. I did give away like five or yeah, I gave away like five hearts yesterday. So haven't even candle around Sanctuary in a while. Me either. It's just not for me anymore. It's just too bright. It's too bright. Love Sanctuary's music. Yeah, the music there is super nice. I love the turtle event. I never go to it, but I love the turtle event. One, because turtles are my favorite animal. Um, and two, because it's during sunset. And so it's not so blinding there. Sky on PC, when, DGC? Uh, soon, hopefully, Mush. Before the end of the year. Before the end of the year, Mush. I need dates. I... Can't help you there. <laughs> no leaving, Mush. You can't leave. Next couple of months, it's already September. Yeah, it'll for sure be here. You know, for too much longer. To stream on TikTok, I have to stream on Twitch. Oh, really? See, I don't have a thousand follows on TikTok because I don't really post all that much on TikTok. Um, I'm not good at editing stuff. Um, but I wondered about that, like how you can stream. Uh to both. Because I know several streamers that do that. sweet of you thank you i'm just i am i'm on tiktok but it's mostly just me like um let me see here i mostly just uh post like clips from stream on there But we also do, like, some informative ones. Like this one. Where we talk about, um... Sky codes and how to add each other with sky codes. Ba -da -da -da. Yeah, those are the ones that I'm... Um, uh, mostly active on is TikTok and Twitter. 
and YouTube now because I'm going to start uploading my VODs again. I'm also on Insta, but I really don't post there very much. It's very weird for me because, like, in my, like, IRL, I'm not really on social media. I'm on Snapchat and TikTok, and that's it. But, like, for... Like, for my Maverick Crossing stuff... I'm on, <laughs> I'm on like, Insta and TikTok and, um, YouTube and Twitter. Like, I don't have... Like, a lot of that for my personal account. I'm just on Snapchat and TikTok. It's very... So, for anybody that has multiple... Like, like if you have, like, a personal TikTok and then, like, you're... Like, one for streaming or, like, you know... Um, whatever... It's very weird whenever, like, you see, like, the For You page for one account and then, like, the For You page for another account. The stuff I see on my main one is very different from the stuff I see on my Maverick Crossing one. Probably because I don't really like, um, a lot of stuff with the Maverick Crossing one. Aside from, like, Sky TikToks. That's why I don't have two TikToks, to be honest. Yeah, but Mush, see, there's TikToks that I've sent you recently that were on my Maverick Crossing for you page that I haven't seen on my main one. Like, on my personal one. On my personal one, I get, like, the, uh the TikToks uh, on my For You page of the guy that, like, doesn't like anything and he just scrolls on his For You page and just shows us, like, what he sees. And every time that he does, like, I have no idea what he's seeing. Like, I never... Like, I never see it. <laughs> Should I stop being a boomer and download TikTok? I mean, if you want to, there's, like, no pressure. One of my friends, they made me laugh because they would be on Facebook, but they'd be watching TikToks on Facebook, and they refused to get uh, TikTok because they said it was cringy, and I was like, you're literally watching TikToks on Facebook. Like, it doesn't get much cringier than that. If we're being real. <laughs> so they finally got TikTok, and now they're on it all day. I have one TikTok. I'm scared of showing my face. Ah. Well, see, my, my personal one doesn't have my face or anything on it. There's no social media out there with me. Like, like with my face or anything on it. Except, I guess, Snapchat, but... That's me and, like, three friends, so... <laughs> if you don't have social media, the algorithm they use to determine if you're a good fit calls you untrustworthy. Really? Interesting. But I guess that makes sense, because, like, it's trying to, like, figure out what kind of stuff you like and there's nothing for it to pull from. When I first got TikTok, I got a lot of the cosplay TikToks, which I don't cosplay, but I love seeing people's cosplay. And then it just kind of slowly evolved from there. Some people will call you untrustworthy if you don't have social media. Yeah, I guess. I mean, 
It is what it is. I don't know. It just never did it for me. I don't know. Like, I get excited seeing stuff for social media, like, from my Maverick Crossing account. Because that's you guys. And, like, I love seeing y'all. But, like, for personal stuff, like, I don't... I have, like, three friends IRL and... So, like, it doesn't, it doesn't really do anything for me. Because, like, I don't want to talk to strangers, like, personally, you know? My main social media is Discord. Mine, too. That's where I do most of my interacting is over on Discord or Twitch. Discord's my main one too. Yeah. My job also pretty much exclusively communicates over Discord. Oh yeah, that's interesting, like that there's so many like jobs that they do a lot of their company chats on Discord. But I think that's smart though, because Discord has a lot of settings and stuff that you can really utilize. Like, I can somewhat make Discord function, but, like, there's people that can, like, really make Discord, like, really work for them. Like, with the bots and with, like, the settings and stuff. Like, I, I don't really know how to do, like, all of that. There's people that their job is to, like, set up people's discords and stuff, and that's pretty cool. You know, like, the, um, settings and everything. It's where, like, it runs exactly, like, how you want it to. Main art, Tumblr is dead most of the time, and main, main account is fully drowned by reblocks. Ah. Uh, Professional Discord has to look like serious business. Oof. Indie game company system, which means, ah, the memes. We'll be here in two hours. Class starts sooner. I'd love to continue watching later. Um, let's see. What time is it? Maybe. Possibly. I don't know if the... Aurora, has the Aurora concert already started? Because I thought about going back for that. But I feel like it might have already started by now. <gasps> Do Sophia. Drawing chubby dragon cosmetics as we speak. Wall. Chubby dragon cosmetics? Give me. Current one has. Next one is in two hours. Oof. Mm, I might not be here. I'm not sure. But if I'm not, I'll be here tomorrow. Game can be a bunch of different species with different body types. So I gotta draw a bunch of. Ah, I see, I see. Love the fit. Where are the pants from? Uh, these are the sword pants from the Little Prince season. Oh yeah, the sky clock. Is the time on the sky clock for the concert back to what the sky clock says? Because I know it was off for the encore, but is it back to normal?
I don't think so, because it tells me that we have an hour and a half until the next one begins. Give me the wait here, Aurora will return soon. Okay, so yeah, the concert's going on. I love that it does that. Like, it sits, like, the people that warp in during the concert. It puts you all just in there, and you can just hang out until they return. That's pretty cool. That happened to me the other day. I warped in right before Queendom started, and I was vibing with a bunch of Sky Kids just waiting. Okay... Let's see what time is it. Oh, okay, we still have a while before uh Granny. Hold on one second. New? Okay. You good? Awesome. Does anyone know if Sky Car was able to finish up his recording? It looked like people weren't giving him any space in the last concert. Oh, I have no idea on that one. Um, They might have said something in the Creator Troop Discord, but I'm not for sure. That was one thing that we been talking about was like with the nameplates and the global chat and stuff like we can turn off the global chat but we can't turn off our nameplates and I know a lot of them in the creator troop they were asking if like maybe the next time that they do that if we have the ability to turn off nameplates like if they ever do nameplate and global chat and stuff again if they ever do that again which I think would be cool to be able to turn it off so you can just blend in with everyone else It'd also be nice if we had an exclusive server. We don't have an exclusive server, but we have, like, a code that people can use to warp to the, the Colosseum that we're in. And, like, if you use the code, then um, we appear with, like, a red flare. So, like, we have, like, the... Um, where's Eden? Can't see Eden from here. If you look at a wing light, you know, like, the golden ring that's around it, the little flare? We have one like that, but it's red. Kind of like Nasty Mold's green one, but ours is red. And then we have, like, little hearts that spawn around us. It's super cute. I love it. And then TGC staff, they have the the white stars, and I think they have a... Do they have a... I don't even know if they have a flare or not. I've never been in the same server as them. I didn't think so, because I don't think they have a code. So they probably don't. Okay. Let me see. For everybody that's hanging out, um, must just inform me their internet is dead. So I'm running stream solo. So I'm going to throw the chat into follower only mode. Just so that way I can keep up with everybody. Ba -da -da -da.
How much time do we have before Granny? Oh, we have a while before Granny starts. How did we get here so early? We didn't start any earlier than we usually do. Hi, Wendy. How are you? Hello, hello. Oh, there must be a mantern in there. Or someone is, uh... Oh, a table. That was unexpected. Oh, hi, Kaizen. Did we server merge? I think we server merged. <laughs> I like the concerts now because they're a little less overwhelming. Yeah, that is nice. It's very nice. Um, you know, that they're smaller. I think I love the big, like, super full concerts, but I also love the more less full. Like, they're more intimate, I guess. Like, you're experiencing it with this small group. It's nice, too. I also thought about what I wanted to do the other day, and I didn't get to because I got invited to go socialize, and I decided to go, which I had a great time, so. Um, was, like, muting and just vibing at the sound bath and just leaving stream up, leaving it in follower-only mode and just vibing in the sound bath. So that might be something we could do today. Completely forgot about Granny. You better go over there. Yeah, and don't be late. Granny gets mad if you're late. I have this headcanon that, um... You know, when you get here late and she doesn't show up, it's because she's mad. <laughs> Love socializing? Mm, yeah. I mean, it was people that I knew. It wasn't like strangers, so it was fine. <laughs> yeah, I think Granny will get us through our last chevron. I'm so excited. I'm finally in the thousands on the Ascended Candles. Let's go. Strangers with Scowy. <laughs> Phone just crashed. No! Can't tell. I think it's just us. I don't see any randoms. So if you want to try warping, feel free. <gasps> A hug! Thank you for the hug, Kaizen. Bye. A little tired today. I can't add anyone new for a little while. But, I mean, that's totally understandable. And it's good to set those boundaries, you know? Like, you know, you know your limits. You know what you can handle and what you can't. And it's good that you voice them. And in my opinion, if, you know, people are angry about, like, you, you know, you can't, you, you let them know, like, you can't do this and you don't. And they get angry about it then they're not a fit for your community. That's the way I see it. Like, I've had several people that have come in to stream, they followed, they right away are like, okay, add me in Sky, and they send me, you know, a QR code or a link or a whatever. And I'll tell them, you know, okay, I'll add you after stream, because that's what I always do. I add people once I end stream. And they get so angry. And, you know... They're like, well, I want to come and join you right now. Like, I want to I want to be there right now. And I'm like, well, like I said, I'll add you after stream and you can join us next time. We we're here every day. And they stay angry. That, to me, that tells me they're not a good fit for the community. Because we're all about patience and kindness here. I think it might have filled up. Maybe. I do see a random now. We might have server merged again. Because it didn't look like Pixel U had warped. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There might be another random somewhere. But, um, Mew, if you were in Granny, you can use the home pad and return to Granny. I like how we're all staring up. <laughs> Hi, Connie. Did you see give release date, please? Oh, that'd be nice. 
Every time I stream from PC, I have to make sure to include the the uh, pinned message because otherwise I feel like people might go feral. They're like, how are you on Sky on PC? <laughs> Very patient and stuff. Hey, <laughs> Connie. <laughs> I love Granny. It's a good place to make friends. Yeah, Granny is great. Also, I just, I love Granny so much. Oh no, she's like, oh, I forgot to turn the stove off. Sky's coming to PC. Is it out already? Not yet, Wendy. It'll be out sometime before the end of the year. Did Granny once today, so it's okay if I miss one? Yeah. Stick around people for like 10 months. 10 minutes and you can just spam emotes if folks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I love that the shards used to be right here and then they moved them over there and in the patch notes they said um that granny told the shards that they would have to move and they did it just fuels my headcanon that she's OP like the krill tries to attack us and like we just hide behind granny and Granny just boops them on the nose like, you stop it. Or on the eye. <gasps> I never woke up Bongo. There's Bongo. Granny is Mega Bird Theory confirmed. <gasps> I love how they worded that, right? Gonna lurk and jump into Palea. I gotta make some monies. Oh, me too. I need to get on Palea. Oh, Kaizo wants a little head pat. I got you. Head pat. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a great title for a, a video. Granny is Mega Bird. Theory confirmed. Not clickbait. Aurora's Megabird Theory is also one that makes me giggle. Ah, interesting. Deltarune Crack Theory videos? Oh, yeah. Like, um, I love, like, where everyone's trying to figure out, like, where Undertale and Deltarune, like, how they exist between one another. I'm pretty sure Toby Fox said that they're, like, like, that it's not set, like, it's not for sure. But people were like, oh, it's absolutely like the sequel or it's or it's this or it's that. And I don't think that they've said yet, like that we'll find out later on. Ugh. I was just talking about Delta Rune last night and that I need for uh, more of it to come out. I don't play Undertale or Deltarune anymore, but I love to watch other people play. Kind of like scary games. I don't play scary games, but I love to watch people play scary games. Cannot handle horror. I love, I love scary stuff. I love it. I just can't play it. I just can't play scary games. Like, I love Little Nightmares. I'm super excited for Little Nightmares 3. But I can't play Little Nightmares. Because I would, like, be so sweaty and panicking. But Deltarune was the confirmed sequel for Undertale. See, I don't think that it's confirmed. Because I've also... I thought that it was, like alternate universe like it's not the same story
But then, like, so I went, like, looking for info, and all I could find was, like, that it's not confirmed. Well, Nightmares isn't scary at all. I've only played, like, a couple hours of it, though. It's more of the creep factor. It's, like, you know, it's creepy. It, like, gives you, like, that sense of, like, you're in danger. And I don't like playing games like that, because, like, then I'm, like, anxious the whole time. It's not fun for me. I like the gnomes though yeah i've seen um on tiktok people posting like sky little nightmares collabs and like um cosmetic ideas and they're so cute and i was saying what if we had like a little gnome hat and when you put it on it turned you into a little gnome like the tiniest size you can be you know like whenever you wear the chibi mask and you use the tiny spell and so you're extra small like what if there was a little gnome hat that did that. That would be so cute. Ahem, write it down, TGC. <laughs> nice. There goes our last chevron. Let's go. Skyoses are all themed around a season of leading and have different emotes and cosmetics. <gasps> Nice. I love coming up with seasonal concept ideas. I have so many that I've shared here on stream. I don't have names for them, but still. Is it Isa? 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 Let me know how to say your name, but thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Hello, hello. Are you going 3D modeling them now for funsies? Ooh. See, if I had talent, I would do stuff like that, but I don't have any artistic talent. Like, I like coming up with OCs and sharing them on the Discord. Um, but uh, I can't, like, draw them or anything. Gonna take a shower. All right, Wendy, sounds good. Enjoy your shower. Isa? You stream every day? Pretty much, unless if something's going on IRL. We do Sky pretty much every day. As well as other things, because I am a variety streamer. Technically. <laughs> but I mostly do Sky. Stream tomorrow is at 2 p.m. Central Time, and I do have the schedule posted on Twitter. And on the Discord. Let me pull it up here so you guys can see it. Here, I'll just show you all the screen. Here is this week's schedule. So tomorrow is Thursday? Wednesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. So yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing Sky and possibly some Fall Guys to follow at 2 p.m. But yeah, I'm pretty much here every day. Falling on some guys time? No. Water dragon fall guys. Oh, Mew. It's um, it's a channel point redemption to pet Bongo. Um, there it is. 500 to pet Bongo. Mm hmm mm hmm There you go. Thank you for petting Bongo. For anybody that's new here, Bongo is our resident krill. They're super sweet. They're a little baby. We love them. Um, they do eat wing lights, but not from Sky Kids. We just shovel wing lights to them.
been a while since we played Fall Guys. I know. I haven't really been able to play because there's been so much Sky stuff going on lately. Sky's really been um, putting stuff out back to back lately. And then Beta. There's also a lot of stuff going on in Beta. Always want to try it. Fall Guys? Fall Guys is free to play. Sky is taking over our lives. Pfft. Taking over like it hasn't already. Part of the dev team, but I need a break. <laughs> they need a break. I'm sure they're there. They've enjoyed their Labor Day weekend. Um, you know, they've had the weekend off. So I really hope that they got a chance to uh, recoup and get some rest in. Because they had a lot that they were doing. Dev team deserves a break too, for real. I know on the creator troop, like, um, the devs that are there, they would, um, like, updates, like, they would give us updates on stuff that they're working on. I would tell them, okay, hydrate, take breaks, like, do the things. You know, that's awesome, but <laughs> do the self-care. Thanks back to Anniversary Sky Dev pulling all-nighter in their spirit memory. Yeah! Exactly. Which, I mean, I've been there, done that, you know. When I worked at, um, when I worked at Walmart and I was still, like, doing management there, um, we had a hurricane here in my area. And it, like, got, it killed all the power and we had to, like, throw away all of the refrigerated food and stuff. And I ended up doing, like, a 26 and a half hour shift. Like, I took... A 30 minute lunch because it's required and that was the only break that I had had that was a rough time awesome if y'all want to latch up we'll run to or actually you know what since we're done with chevrons we can just go home let's just head home 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 Boom, 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 boom. Let me see. So yeah, if you go to Sky Code and you put in Mav Crossing. Ah, I did it again. I always press the wrong button. It should automatically warp you to the concert area. Let's see where they're at on the concert. I have the in-game muted, by the way, for VOD Watchers, um, just in case if it's going on. I don't want to get DMCA'd. Oh, oh, oh. I would warp into the sad song. I think I have music turned all the way down though. There we go. Now I have controls again. Everybody ready to cry? We just warp in and start crying. Is this something we can do or is that someone specific? So anybody can do that. Um here, let me show you. Mav code. And then you're able to join me um, in the concert area. It's my favorite song, though. Me too. The Seed is my favorite. What's y'all's favorite song? 
At least this time I didn't have to fight about not eating money. This part of the concert, famous warrior, and my followers about not eating mercury the other day, money. <laughs> yeah, it's an everyday thing here. Uh, mush. I'm on data. Mush, get off the data. Don't waste the data. What if you need it? Mom. Mush's internet died. <laughs> Mom, please fix it. <laughs> Imagine having limited data. Some people do. I have limited brain cell. I have a single brain cell. I think I have half a brain cell at this point. This email, um, this one right here, is literally me. Might nap. Do the thing, Mush. Get a nap. Take a nap. I share my brain cell with my snake. Oh, a little snake. Oh, yeah. We haven't done this, so uh, if we fly by the spirits, we can get some wax. I love it. Me too, Nate. Um, I actually won that emote in a giveaway. And I had completely forgotten about the giveaway. And then I got a DM over on Twitter that I had won. And I was like, hello? It's so cute. I love it. I did have to move the bongo emote um, to BTTV to make room for it. This one. Aurora Best Cannon Running Destination. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Love seeing all my friends here. Yeah. It's very nice. Oh, hi, Tyson. It's like they're not really gone, even if I haven't seen them in ages. Oh, yeah. You no. Know, I have lots of the friends that used to play, and they haven't been on in a long time. There's a bunch of the Creator Troop members. Everybody with a candle in the Creator Troop. <gasps> v? There went Lee, there's Yoko. There went Noob Mode, Sky Gerald and Josh. Lost Girl. <laughs> I'm Lost. <laughs> uh, I love Lost Girl's name. Starlet Siren. 
Snow Prism. There's Iridaze. Old friend group of Stranger Tway. I mean, it's it happens. It's kind of like a natural part of life is, you know, you come into people's lives and you're there for however long you're there. And, you know, you impact their life however you were meant to. And then you all go your own ways. And you meet new people and you do the same thing. It's kind of like, that's what connects us all, I feel like. Gosh, the sitting noise, hello? I think I'm getting the wind because it's trying to sit me somewhere in the concert. So we'll see if it's able to do it. I may have to close and reopen because it might not. Yeah, it looks like it has me out in the oob in the wind. Yeah, no worries, Mush. It's all good. Y'all cute. No, you. Oh, look, it's Jan <gasps> and Maelstrom. Let me bow and bow and do a hug if I can. There we go. All right, now let me come back. And it should put me in Queendom now. I'm going to do my exclamation reborn, since we did get reborn. And let's see what I come back as. Uh, sapling! Ooh, I'll nom on myself. Um, nom, 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 nom. Still a lot of people here, but it's, it's um a lot more empty. But I like that we can actually see, you know. I love all like the swarm of confetti, but I also love it being not as many. Like you can see everything. Let's see. I want to see everybody get pulled in. See how it looks. I'm on a different part from everybody else. You can see Aurora in the quiet room too. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, we were orbiting each other, Cosmic Traveler. That was cute. I'm going to stay following you. I'm going to see what happens uh, when Aurora starts pulling. Do not recommend being in the quiet room during Queendom. Yeah, I saw a TikTok yesterday where someone was getting slammed all over the, the quiet room, the meditation room, during Queendom. <laughs> and it was hilarious. It was yeeted. Was that your TikTok? I saw someone's the opposite of quiet, just screaming. Right now I was, oh, let me see. I sent it to Mush. There it is. I'll show y'all after, um, Queendom. Unlurk. Hi, Wendy. I feel like next time I hope that Quiet Room was sheltered from global chat. 
Yeah, that would be nice. Global chat is like still very new. Um, so obviously there's a lot of stuff for them to work on. I see ads are getting ready to start again, by the way. Just a heads up. It's been an hour already. It's just a heads up to anybody that's not a sub. You might see ads coming. 158 people, 162 people. Okay, let's see what mine says. 159. Mine says... 159 is what mine says. huge difference oh yeah it's <laughs> massive from <laughs> from 10,000 to 100 yeah it's a major difference but like I said it makes it a little more you know like exclude like or not exclusive I should say intimate is what I mean you know it's more intimate being able to play with um a hand like a hundred versus thousands of players. It's easier to see everybody. There we go. The crab. I love riding on the crabs all around. So much fun. I love like the um the after, like the music afterwards. I really like the concert ambiance, like whenever it has like the chatting and stuff like in the background. It's very relaxing to listen to. All right, Aurora. I'm here for a hug. That's right. All the self-care. All the self-love. Do the thing. Hi, Kaizen. Oh. I thought that was Aurora for a second standing up there. And I was like, what? <laughs> Aurora is so cute. I know. Uh. Alright, let me pull up that TikTok that I was talking about. Say, so look. They're getting yeeted all around the room. <laughs> uh. You can still hug Aurora after a concert. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Lunch break class just ended. Nice. Enjoy your lunch, Kaizen.
I'm getting a random person to start crap raids. <laughs> nice. Carbrace and I are now friends. Oh, that's awesome. All right. We've been going a little over four hours. It is one. I have some things that I need to finish up for the day. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it here and we'll end with a raid. Let me see who is live. Go ahead and take it out of follower only, but I am going to stop raids so nobody raids us. <laughs> that's what usually happens. Let's see. Well, looks like the person that I was going to raid just ended. But that's okay. I have someone else that we can raid too. We pull them up. There we go. I'm going to leave it on this screen so you guys have the nice uh, Aurora. Let's see. Raid. There are the raid messages if y'all would like to copy them. The follower and the sub messages. And we're going to send the raid over to Craze. Craze list. They're doing some Crash Bandicoot. So we love, we love Craze. They're another great Sky streamer. Um, member of the Sky Creator Troop. We love Craze. So we'll go send them the love. And they just got started too, so it's kind of perfect. But everybody take care. Have a great rest of your day or night. Thank you for all the follows. We're only eight follows away from our goal already. What the heck? Thank y'all so much. I appreciate y'all. Everybody take care. Have a great rest of your day or night. I will see you guys tomorrow at 2 p.m. Central Time with some more Sky and Fall Guys to follow. I will catch y'all then. Love you guys. Everybody take care. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Thank you for being here. Bye.